today. What's the latest that you're picking up today? Right, Alex. So uh, the RBI governor and deputy governor were very clear when they spoke uh, at the press conference yesterday that uh, if you are going to be in violation of existing norms and if you do not do corrective action as suggested by the regulator, then there is likely going to be action against you. So supervisory action against you. It could be in the form of uh, penalties or business restrictions, depending on how situations evolve. Now, what my sources are telling uh, me with regard to the situation that has evolved in the PTM uh, universe with uh, specifically with relation to Paytm Payments Bank, uh, is that some of this action, some of the RBI's action against uh, this entity could have been spurred by unexpected outcomes that came out of the payment. Uh, payments bank universe. Now remember that payments banks as, as entities were originally uh, sort of uh, conceptualized 10 years ago. Um, vast majority of the payments bank universe has not really ma been able to make a dent in the financial uh, uh, services ecosystem except two entities, as Fino and Paytm. Uh, these are the only two entities that have been able to use that uh, sort of uh, uh, ecosystem or that framework effectively. Uh, now what uh, the sources are saying is that there was a lack of engagement uh, between the RBI and the pay uh, Paytm payments bank bank uh, uh, entity uh, primarily because there was really no point person at the payments bank. Uh, uh, the, the CEO, it wasn't clear whether the RBI should be talking to the CEO or the board or the promoter, uh, considering that Vijay Shekhar Sharma owns 51%, so he's the majority owner and pretty much calls the shots uh, at this entity. Uh, the other problem uh, that, uh, that came up here is that the fact that the Paytm payments bank's reach uh, far exceeded what the regulator expected uh, from the payments bank universe. And in fact, if you look at some of the concerns that have emerged in Paytm Payments Bank, which was with regard to money laundering, potential money laundering, uh, and accounts being, uh, uh, you know, not uh, having e uh, adequate KYC. Now, these uh, problems are actually much smaller uh, than what uh, one would think uh, would deserve this kind of action. That's what the sources are telling us. Um, they're also saying that disclosure as well as compliance processes, which are established for the universal banking universe, uh, are not so well established within the pay uh, payments bank. Uh, which means that whatever the payments bank does, essentially the regulator is looking at it from a slightly suspicious point of view. Uh, and therefore, without that uh, kind of established process, uh, uh, there was really no way for the payments bank to have uh, adequately satisfied the regulator with regard to compliance. Now, I want to put a disclaimer here. Nobody suggesting that Paytm Payments Bank did not do something wrong. Uh, nobody saying that the regulator was wrong in, in taking steps against the entity. However, maybe the severity could have been uh, a debatable topic. That's what the sources are telling us now. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Vikshi.